Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Donkeys and Demos. You're here with the kid, Jeremy Vareo, and today we're checking out the Sabo from Arbor Day Amplification. Right there. Stick around. Alright guys, like I said, today we're checking out the Sabo from Armored Amplification. Um, Armored Amp's uh, outfit out of Fort Walton Beach, Florida, run by a guy named James Hudman. Um, James was sending uh, one of the prototypes of the amp around for uh, some folks to get hands on with and make some videos and whatnot, so uh, I was able to get some time with it. Um, single channel amp. A lot of really cool features, um, a lot of you know little toggle switches and uh, attack knobs and all these things that uh, really definitely can uh, shape uh, uh, just a badass array of tones for you. Um, gonna run through it with a Les Paul Trad Pro with Burst Bucker 3s, uh, my Balagher Archetype with Fishman Open Core Classics and also an Ibanez Prestige 7 with DiMarzio's. Um, so just kind of run a variety of tones. Um, let's check out the specs and then we'll uh, get into the playthrough. Alright guys, let's go ahead and check out the Sabo. Let's look at the front panel um, facing the amp all the way to the left. You've got a presence and a resonance control uh, as well as an attack control. Um, the presence and resonance adjust the overall low end response and high end response of the amp or the power section. Um, the Attack knob is a negative feedback control, which is a really, really cool feature on here. Um, can really, uh, it adds a lot of variety to the tones you get out of this amp, all the way to the left, much darker and rounder, all the way to the right, much brighter and more modern. Um, you've got your master volume, bass, middle, treble, and sweep. Uh, the sweep knob allows you to kind of choose the, um, the mid-range frequencies that you want to adjust with the mid knob, Really, really cool. Um, gain one and gain two. Gain one is the overall amp gain. Um, gain two actually kind of boosts it and makes it a bit tighter and more articulate. Um, you've got four switches. You've got a bright switch. Well, it brights. Um, you've got a grit switch on here. Uh, this is a, a prototype, so the switches are named a little bit differently on this guy than they are on the production one, uh, but the functions are pretty well the same. Um, on the grit up top, it is a Jose mod. In the down position, it is the armored Phoenix mode, mode, mod, mode. Um, very different sounding between the two. Uh, the Jose mod, uh, really, really saturated, a lot of compression. Um, you do get that volume drop that is very common with the Jose mod when you engage it. Um, you just make up for it with the master volume. Um, you've got a body control on here, which affects uh, your overall mid gain. Uh, or low mids and high mids uh, in the feel of those on the amp. And then you've got a sizzle switch that gives you some top end sizzle to your, your pick attack and playing. So all the switches are in the down position, um, meaning the bright is off or in the Phoenix mode. Um, the uh, body's in the low mid position and the sizzle switch is off. Everything is at noon. Let's check it out. Oh. Anyway, 2011 Gibson Les Paul Trad Pro, who cares? First Pucker 3, who cares? Tuna D flat, who cares? Or drop D flat. <laughs> Sizzle does. Turn it back off. And back on. That 
that's actually one of my favorite features of the amp. Um, I love just kind of, I like the bass tone of the amp without it turned on, but you turn that sizzle on, it just gives you that nice extra bit of cut. <laughs> Got your body switch and switch it to the uh, the up position, and it gets a little bit more of that kind of talky wah uh, mid range thing. switch. So if we go ahead and turn those all off again, you can definitely hear the effect they have on the overall tone of the amp. start messing with the uh, the EQ section and the gain. Um, so like I said, the gain one is kind of your overall uh, amp gain. What's really cool about gain two um, start bringing that in and things start getting tighter and a little bit more um, aggressive. <laughs> start just playing with the EQ a little bit. super effective. So let's hear what the attack knob does. There's no attack knob there at all. Again, turn it all the way to the left. You know, if you got a really, really bright guitar, obviously this is a way to tame it. You wouldn't go that extreme, but um, 
you know, at the uh, at the other side of the coin. <laughs> more uh, uh, articulate, or I guess not articulate, just aggressive. Um, I kind of like it about there. Um, and then, choo -choo 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 -choo. yeah, this is kind of where I like the amp to be dialed in. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the Jose mod, shall we? Um, so again, like I said, when you engage that, uh, you definitely get a drop in volume. So just make up for it with a little bit of volume here. So let's go ahead and check it out with some actives. All right, so let's check it out with the Balagir now. This is my semi-custom archetype, Cthulhu Burst, um, Fishman Open Core Classics. Again, everything uh, back at noon on the amp and switches are uh, in the down position, so off or whatever. Um, and here's the, uh, the sound with the Fishmans. <laughs> sizzle switch man it's just just awesome what it does for uh for your tone and you know the amp already sounds great with it turned off <laughs>
right, so let's check out some seven string sounds. I've got my Ibanez Prestige RGD with DiMarzio pickups. Uh, I've got the sizzle, the bright, and the mid switch all in the up position. Um, and the attack knob is set pretty, uh, uh, pretty high. Uh, let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> And uh, again, just to hear kind of the effects that these switches have on the tone. This is with all of them turned off. Turn the sizzle on. Turn the bright on. And then hit that body switch. Dream Theater or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, definitely has a notable effect on the tone. And uh, let's hear what this guy sounds like with the uh, Jose mode on. Bring the body back down. Back to the Phoenix mode. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, oh, here in drop A, sharp, flat, A flat. Just really crank up the attack, drop some resonance a bit, drop some bass, a little more presence, a little more gain, and a little more of that gain maybe. So there you have it. All right, so that was the uh, Sable from Armored Amplification. Really cool amp, a lot of tones in that box, uh, especially for a single channel amp. Uh, you know, great rock tones all the way up to just nice, dirty, you know, classic, deathy kind of stuff. Um, I think it tracks really well. I think it sounds great in the room. And, uh, you know, 
the friggin' amp is really, really nicely built. I was really uh, impressed with that. For out of the box, just picking it up, it just felt substantial. Uh, seriously, like I said, like you could just wing it around by the handle and smash it through your car and then just go play a gig. Um, so, uh, I don't know, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that like button uh, on, the, on the vid, subscribe, turn on notifications, come back and check out more demos. Um, if you thought the video sucked, that's okay. You can, you know, you can be like, leave that comment too, but just comment. You know, I, I, I love feedback, good, uh, positive or constructive. Um, thanks again to James for sending the amp out. Check those guys out, armoredamps.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you know, it's a phenomenal hand-built amp made in the USA by uh, a, an active serviceman, you know, so a salute you, man. Uh, thank you for your service, James. And, uh, you know, check them out. I think uh, they, they got some cool shit. Peace.